Hi everyone, it's Tasha. I'm doing another Hot Topic. This is Hot Topic 2. Tonight we're going to discuss a little bit about putting recreational centers around schools, you know, to help children, you know, stay away from violence, to also give them something to do that's beneficial to their education, to their social development, and also to helping them be a better part of our community, I suppose. And I'm not talking about conforming or anything like that, but I'm talking about keeping them off the streets, away from drugs, away from violence, so that they don't end up in the stereotypical life of crime, especially for people who live in poverty, such as, you know, I have for most of my life. Um, I think low-income schools, especially around, you know, the Hispanic and African-American community should really invest in putting recreational centers or putting after-school programs in their schools or recreational centers around their school to help children stay off the street because most kids, they don't have anywhere safe to go, especially if you're from a low-income family. They don't have anywhere to go that's safe. It's that or they have a dysfunctional family that could have many issues. They go home, what else are they going to do? They're going to wander the streets and around the streets, of course, we have issues such as gangs, drugs, uh, prostitution, and violence all over the place. So I think it would be very beneficial for schools to invest in more money for programs like that instead of, you know, investing towards things like things like food, like junk food and stuff like that. I think it would be better for kids in our generation because, I mean, look at our crime right now compared to back in the 80s. It's outstanding. It really is. I mean, there's some neighborhoods you can't even walk around in anymore without worrying about getting shot now. <laughs> it's it's a shame. And it, it, what's even worse is now our crime rate has gone to a lower age. It's now the younger you are, it seems to be an increase as far as, you know, for how many kids there are out there in gangs now. And it's a damn shame, really, that our schools don't have as many programs as that. I mean, and the schools that do, it seems to be the higher class, you know, schools and districts that seem to have these programs and they don't really necessarily need it in my opinion but anyway discussion is completely open what kind of districts do you think deserve to have um, recreational programs what do you think could be a, a um, issue as into why they can't be put there or an issue why they should be put there but they're not um, completely open for discussion, you know, discuss some of the solutions, anything's really open at this point, but, you know, in my opinion, I just think it would be better spent on school funds to invest in recreational programs or for recreational programs to be open around schools or anything like that, so... It's open for discussion, as well as poverty. Why do you think poverty affects our children now into leaping into a life of crime or leaping into a life of prostitution for young women. So it's completely open for discussion. Anyone can say anything they want to. So give me your opinions, give me your feedback. Peace out suckas. Love y'all.